welcome back to my channel. So we are going to be doing a new collection review today. Um, I picked up the three palettes from Maybelline, the Total Temptation palette, I picked up the City Kits Urban Lights palette, and then I also picked up the City Kits Pink Edge palette, and I also picked up one of their new brow pencils. I do have everything on my face today. Um, so let's go ahead and do swatches first and then we will get into the thoughts. So basically I'm going to do them just how I showed you. Total Temptations, Urban Lights, and Pink Edge. So officially, there are all your swatches from all three palettes. <sighs> yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get into thoughts about, about these palettes. Uh, starting with this one right here. Um, I have these two colors in my crease today. I don't know if you can tell at all. It took several applications in order to even get this much pigment, probably about I had to go over probably about five different times just to get that and there's a barely anything there um the highlights on this palette are really pigmented um i don't know if you can tell but they show the texture on my skin so so bad i can definitely see all my little fine lines uh with this highlight so um, I am not a fan of this one. This one runs for $11.99. You can buy this at, um, I got this at Target. It's also available at Walmart or Ulta, but I'm definitely not a fan of this one. I would say that this is not worth um, the pickup. If you go online to Ulta.com and you look up the reviews for this, um, this one only gets three stars and I don't even know if it deserves three stars just because of the fact that the pigmentation is not there. It is so powdery. Oh my gosh, look at this. Right, now I'm just gonna lightly tap my brush in. You see that? Watch. All that powder. Ooh. Yeah, it's really, really bad. So the big pigmentation lacks on this. It's super, super powdery, fallout everywhere. And the highlighter is just, I mean, the colors are really pretty, um, but it texturized the skin so bad. So I will not be able to wear anything in this palette. And I don't think that having this um, and having to work it up five to six different times, you're gonna hit pan pretty fast with that. So I would definitely pass on this one. All right, moving on next to, we have the Urban Light Palette. I really think that this is a pretty palette. I like the holographic design. Um, I, I think the colors are really pretty. I like the fact that they tried to go with a springtime look in this. Um, I do have this one on my eyes today. Um, and it's a quite um, some buildup with this as well. 
So the pigmentation in this palette is not as good either. Um, I would say it has a little bit less fallout than the Total Temptation palette. Um, I experimented with this green. I really, really enjoy this green color. Um, I know I already swatched it, but the staining powder of this palette is not good. Um, it'll last for maybe two hours, um, and then it definitely fades and you will have to reapply or at least that was my experience. So once again, this is not something that I recommend. This is not something that I would tell you guys to purchase. Now when I was applying my makeup, um, this right here is a blush. This one is supposed to be a highlighter. Um, I did use this blush at first, but it is so, oh my gosh, I don't mind using a light pink, but it re looked really, really ashy on my skin. So I had to wipe it off immediately. So you would have to be extremely, I would say extremely fair in order to get this to work for you because it just looked awful on my skin. So I had to switch it up and I actually have this blush on my cheeks and it it, <laughs> it is not much better. Um, I even built that up three or four different times and it still looks extremely light. Um, so coming up next, we have the Pink Edge palette. This is what it looks like. Once again, this one is $11.99 as well. You get a blush, you get a highlight, and you get your eyeshadows. This one has a mixture of um, mattes and shimmers. Um, this one is your shimmer palette. Uh, this one was mattes and shimmers as well. I would say out of the three, this is going to be the better of the three. Um, the staying power is a little bit better. The mattes are um, definitely have a little bit more pigmentation but it is pretty hard to work with. Um, I don't think it's worth the struggle. You would definitely want to invest your money in something that's not going to be as complicated to work with. Um, just because of the fact that it is a drugstore brand, it is cheaper, does not mean that it is going to be worth the money because you will go through twice the product, using up the product as much as I did today, versus getting something that will last you longer and be easier to work with. And last, we have the Brow Definer Pencil. I was really, really excited about this. Um, I use three different products. I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I use my, precisely my brow from Benefit, and this is in the shade five. Um, for Anastasia Beverly Hills, I am in the shade, what shade am I in? I think it's like a dark brown. I can't find it. Anyways, it's dark brown. And then I have also the Gimme Brow, and this is in the shade five as well. I really enjoy those products, but I also like discovering other products that will work. I have tried other products before, so I was really excited that they came out with a brow pencil. Um, I will say that I am not too fond of this little tiny end piece. Um, I just wish it was a little bit longer. I don't mind how thick it is because it does help me brush up the hairs better, but it's just so short and I just, I don't know. I kind of like this kind of tip better where it is longer. If they would have had it just like this, but longer, I think that would be a really nice touch, but I could still make it work. I mean, it's nothing I can't, I can't look past. Now, this is the shape of it right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay. Um, I will say at first it was really, really stiff. So I did have to kind of like warm it up on my hand just a little bit. Just take it a couple times and drag it across my hand, warm it up before I applied it. That way it wouldn't pull out any of my eyebrow hairs. So keep that in mind if you do decide to purchase this product that it is kind of stiff uh kind of stiff so if you just go straight in it's going to end up pulling your eyebrows out and that's not something that you want to do but i think the colors are really really nice it's a really good product and i am extremely happy with this purchase i definitely will be keeping this product i know they came out with i believe four different ones um it has blonde 
it has a soft brown, medium brown, and deep brown. So maybe in the future they will come out with a couple more different colors to keep up with something like Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I think that this is a a really really nice product this is a really great brow product and for $7.99 I could see myself purchasing this versus anything else so they did really good with this one all right so one more time final thoughts on the palettes um, if you had to choose one I would definitely choose the pink edge over these two right here I do think that this has a little bit more pigmentation but just keep in mind all three of these are extremely powdery um, they are hard to work with and even though it is cheaper, I do not believe that it is worth the purchase. So that is my personal opinion. These might work for you. Just keep that in mind. All right, when it comes to the Total Temptation Brow Definer, I highly suggest this one. I think this is a great product. It's definitely on the level of any other brow product that I have. And the fact that this one is only $7.99, it puts it in a huge, huge plus on this. Because, I mean, $7.99, we know that we all go through brow pencils pretty fast. Um, especially if you do your brows every single day, the product can go pretty quickly. So with my uh, benefit, you get 0 .002 ounces of product in this. And then with the Total Temptation Brow Definer, you get 0 .005. So this one is only $7.99 and you do get more product in this. So this is definitely going to last you longer and it is just as good. So if you have to rush out and get something from this collection, definitely pick up the brow pencil. I think you will be quite pleased. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you liked this review. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, and I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.